Hey everyone, it's Exo Man. Today, I want to show you how to fillet a fish. Not just any fish, but a small fish. As you know, I catch uh, fish for my dogs to eat. And right here, I have a mullet. I'm going to quickly take the head off of this mullet so it doesn't suffer. And there we've got a mullet ready to fillet. Now, what I see happening mostly when people fillet fish is they leave a lot of meat behind. I want to show you how to not leave a lot of meat behind, all right? I'm going to quickly scale the, the edge that I'm going to cut here. All right, so you've got to watch out for these yellow jackets. All right, now. We go ahead. You don't. I don't have to do this, but I'll go ahead and re remove the guts uh, just to make this easier. See how I split that down there? Mullets are really messy fish. They're considered a trash fish by many. All right, now we've got a fish that's ready to fillet. So what I'll do? So I'll just remove some scales. You don't. I mean, you don't have to do this, but it's. A lot easier to glide your knife through there if you, if you do that. So I'm going to cut here first and then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to be cutting along here. So I'll go ahead and scale this right here. In fact, I'll scale all the cut parts. You can scale the whole thing if you want, obviously. But uh, let's get started. Let's first cut into this backbone. You know there's a center bone right here, right? So what I'm going to do is find that with my knife, and I'm going to ride along the top of it. Now, the, the objective here is to glide on that center bone. I could do this much more quickly back in the day. Uh, when I was a kid, I cut fish for a living. But see, I find that center bone, I go to it, I release the back, I just release that little piece of meat there. Now I go down, I, I've aimed up, up and over that center bone, that back bone, and now I'm going to go down the other side. Did you see that? Okay, so I've gone down the other side, and I'm liberating every piece of meat from that center bone. And of course, I have the rib bones here. Let me cut through this, and I'll glide my knife over those rib bones just to remove the meat from those, so I don't have those to deal with. You can cut off this wing here and then you've got a nice fillet look at that all meat and we're not leaving any meat on the fish you know this is uh this is a magnificent magnificent creature it's such a bounty such a resource for us why would we waste that meat you know if you would you want someone to throw half of your body away if they consumed you no of course not and if you're doing this hundreds of times just think about all the meat you're throwing away if you don't do it properly it drives me crazy to see someone do this down the bone instead of riding over it, especially with expensive fish flesh this is a mullet that I will feed my dog but uh, or eat myself there's nothing wrong with mullet they're considered a trash fish now back in the day I, I could just glide with, with my eyes closed doing that but that was 40 years ago so I cut down through those rib bones. Did you see how I did that? They're attached to the fish here. And then I go back down that other side. And then you take your knife and bring it along that bone carefully. See there, I left a lot of meat on that little bit there. I don't want to do that. Every, every little bit counts. But in the end, you want to see something more like this. You have bone, you can see your fingers through it. Now you see my fillets? That beautiful easy easy if you do this with a few small fish with larger fish will be all that much easier after some practice okay all right so here is an even smaller one so i'm going to cut along here this bottom bone this is a different way it's starting from the other side you can cut along these rib bones down to separate them from the backbone. OK. 
Okay, I mean, you can follow this around. See that? These little fish I just gut and uh, cook whole for dog food. You can watch the video on how I do that. This little beauty, this is a flounder. I've got to throw it back. It's so small. Isn't that beautiful though? Just caught that with the net. That flounder. See it disappear? Here is a pinfish. It's a, it's a very small fish to fillet. Look, you can see right through it. See through the bone on here. Yes, even tiny fish can be filleted. Indeed. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. Happy fishing. And remember, if you don't throw no net, you won't catch no fish.